Welcome back. Halloween just about a week and a half away. I can't believe it, but I love Close. fall. Debbie is joining us. So yes. I was just telling a friend this week that I really want to carve a pumpkin this year. It's been a few years, yep. but this might be the better idea. This is no carve pumpkin decorating. Yes. You know, carving a jack-o'-lantern is always great uh, holiday, Halloween fun tradition, but if you want to just decorate pumpkins and not, you know, have to worry about safety and all that. Yeah. Um, which we always want to worry about, just yes. for the record. Um, these are no carve um, ideas that you could just decorate them. And then they last a little longer. That's true. Um, and, you know, obviously we don't need them to last that much longer now because Halloween's right around the corner, but just some fun ideas. These are. Uh, kits that you oh, okay. can actually purchase. Um, the kids love their uh, favorite characters. And this uh, one that we're gonna do here is Despicable oh, Me. Now you can do it two movie. ways. You can, um, they're plastic, so it's, you can penetrate the pumpkin, uh -huh. um, but it's easier to create a hole first. Okay. So you can either, uh, with some help from mom or dad, uh, use a screwdriver to puncture, or you could use a drill, okay. a drill bit. And so you're gonna do one, you can see on the back, it's got just a, a poker, and mm -hmm. you're going to do one for the eyes. One for the eyes. And we're gonna put that right in here. Cute. And then we okay, have I'll one. Oh no, it's, <laughs> I mean, really, Ooh. nothing. Okay, And then eyebrows? that's the eyebrows, yep. Oh, cute. And then one for the mouth. The lips. And you can oh, put that cute. right in there. Oh my god, that took 30 seconds. I mean, and look how cute that, that is. That is adorable. So, really and cute. And of course, um, these are some of the characters we have, and there's probably others, um, you know, at Home Depot. So this is something that's that is so cute. very easy and um, looks great. And they can even put hair on it, put, That'd you know, fun. whatever they want. What's so this one? This one is Mr. Baseball. Oh, And, like you it. know, for uh, kids that like baseball, yeah, this is a World great Series option. Is about to happen. So what we did here was, um, just spray paint the pumpkin white. You could also paint it with just regular uh, water-based acrylic paint. But spray painting, I'm assuming, is easier? Faster, yeah, easier. Faster. But if you want to just sit at the kitchen table and, you know, do it, it doesn't matter how doesn't long matter. it takes. This is fun. Then, to make the laces, I just drew two circles on both sides. Okay. And then, for laces, we're just going to, and you're going to help me, okay, we're going one. to just do kind of V's all the way. And then and you're then, just going to highlight them with the red. Uh, and Kinda then, like yep. Yeah. And then we're gonna just do a nose. Your size looks better than that. But. And a mouth, <laughs> and maybe some eyebrows. Cute. And then once you're done, if you want to grab our hat. Oh, cute! I don't know what that says. What does that say? Oh, Cubs. Oh, I mean, this year's not so great, but I am. You are. Okay, that makes so, sense. So you could put a little uh, hat on it and D backs. We're taking exactly. that D backs. Yeah. We did win a World Series we back in did. 2001. I, listen, I'm a Diamondbacks <laughs> fan as well. You can do both. Ooh, what's this? This is um, kind of a skeleton head, and okay. so again, you can paint it uh, with acrylic paint or spray paint it black. And this is so easy. It was a fun trick, you're going to make your head out of X's. So as you can see, if you can see closely, this is just rows of X's uh -huh. and you leave empty for the eyes, nose and mouth. Oh, so cool. what we're doing here, I just have one started and then we just add X's. I mean, this really couldn't be easier and I'm doing it upside down and backwards. <laughs> so um, imagine exactly. when you're looking at it the right way, how good it's going to so get. So you're just going to keep going and um, again, I'll have all the directions um, on the website or if you like me at uh, Home Depot, uh, Debbie on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, um, all these instructions. But in the next segment, that I'm one super I'm excited. excited. About. Um, I'm going to show you how to make uh, donuts and ice cream cones out of pumpkins and also um, a spa face Ooh. and some other exciting no carve pumpkin ideas. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the spa That's it. with my spa pumpkin. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> Debbie, thank you so much. All inspiring right. all of us to decorate pumpkins no carve style. We're going to take That's a it. quick break. Our 8 o'clock hour coming up right after this. Welcome back, folks. 
folks. Debbie is here. <laughs> I don't know what came out of my mouth. You know, sometimes talking for a living can yes. be tough. Yes, uh, yes. We are talking about pumpkins and how you can decorate them um, without carving them. I like yes. this because carving is messy and it's just, it's hard to do sometimes. Yeah, and with this type of uh, decorating, you could really use your imagination and do anything. Whereas with actual carving, it's a little more challenging. Limited. Yes. But if you don't want to decorate your pumpkins, you could even just buy a bunch of gourds yeah. and pumpkins and create a little fall display. And this can last I through Thanksgiving. That. So um, if you don't carve into them, they last pretty long. And these um, these are cans in our paint department. Okay. And they work great as like pumpkin stands. So yeah. we've got big ones and small ones. So just to kind of create some height differential. And That is so cute. Thank that you. That would be so cute out front or in the house. Absolutely. Inside, outside. Uh, so you're going to be painting so, yes. these pumpkins. Yes. In the first segment, we talked about making a, a baseball man um, using uh, the kits to use make little characters and a skeleton head. And this time we're going to do a little more uh, frilly fun, fun stuff. Yeah, this is so for the girls. this one is going to be our spa head. Ooh. And um, what I did here was I just took some acrylic paint. How did you get that um, so perfect? I just used a foam brush and okay. made a circle. I mean, very simple. And, and it, filled, I cleaned the in. pumpkin first just so the paint sticks better. Yeah. But just yeah, just painted. I, mean, I drew a circle and then filled it in. I mean, Voila. it was very simple. Then um, I'm just using paint pens. And I'm going to make a nose, and I just like to do like a little, kind of creates a little bit of a nose there. A little nose. And then we're going to use a red one okay. for our lips. Ooh. And we want to make them nice and Nice and luscious. luscious. Ooh. Upside down and backwards always That's works. That's pretty good. And then, I mean, basically, we're going to use our um, cucumbers. Oh, they're right here. And they're right here. This is so funny. And for your eyes. I love it. And I'm just using toothpicks to stick them in there. You can use whatever. So if you can't you go want. to the spa, <laughs> if you can't go to the spa. You can feel like you went to the spa. Like you, your and then pumpkin will feel I like. I just use a, a bandana or a babushka, yeah, if you will. Yeah, that's so cute. And put it on the stem to make it look like that. And there you go. That's adorable. So, that's fun really is fun that? too. Hopefully it'll inspire a spa trip as well. That's oh, you're it. getting claps right now. Oh, oh very good. Oh, that was from fun. Scott. <laughs> Scott's giving you claps because he's in the I booth can always right count on Scott. Yes, for that's your boy. Uh, this one is cool. This one is a donut. donut. So I just Ooh. used a gourd. You can also use a pumpkin for it. Um, if you like the uh, more golden yellow bottom, you can paint the whole thing first in a doughy color. But oh, okay. when they're white gourds, um, kind of looks like a donut anyway. And so what I did was I just taped around in a random fashion, you know, up and down yeah. kind of, and then spray painted the top with gloss. It's very glossy. Brown, and this one was gloss pink for strawberry. I like this one, this one's cool. And this one, it looks like icing then. Yeah. And then we're just gonna use oh, paint pens paint and pins. make our uh, sprinkles, and they're Ooh. just basic dashes, just dashes. all over. No artistic talent oh, necessary. Yes. And so you can do this and then you, you can make a few different ones and have that's like a so platter cute. of donuts. This one I is really like one of like my this favorites. One. Now that's um, okay. loose, but we're gonna show <laughs> you're gonna glue it together. Oh, so we are. Okay. I use three mini pumpkins like this. Perfect. And these are so cheap. And they're so cheap. Yeah. And you just break off that stem. Okay. Now if you wanted to, you could just add googly eyes to your little pumpkins and be done. So you break off the stem and then put them all that's together. It. So okay. I spray painted them each chocolate vanilla strawberry. And then we're just gonna take some, you can take hot glue or you can take Gorilla glue and just two dabs will do you. Two ya. dabs. And then stick it on there. And then you're going to do the Cute. same thing with your cone. And boom, you have a, a three dip ice cream cone. Ooh, now I want an ice cream. <laughs> no. I want a donut and I want to go to the spa. <laughs> and I can't have any of right? those things right now. <laughs> I want to do all that too. Oh, yeah. So these are just some fun ideas that the kids would have a ball doing. And mom would love this one, of course. Yeah. And uh, so just be have fun, be creative. Um, I just want to wish my husband. Yes. It's our 29 year Ooh. wedding anniversary today. 
And uh, so you're getting more claps. I'm wishing you happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Love you, babe. Almost to 30. That's Isn't it. That crazy. Almost to 30. You guys got married when you were 16. You so, know, we you know. we have been together since <laughs> high school. So. You have? Woo! Yep. Oh, yep. That's so sweet. I know. Okay, well, congratulations. Thank you. You enjoy the rest of your day and the anniversary. Thank uh, we're you. We're going to send it to Kim. She is getting us in the Halloween spirit this morning.